Hello and welcome to a special episode of PC Building Simulator. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to easily overclock CPUs to help you get the most money possible when building PCs with used parts to sell on PC Bay. I want to start by saying that this is by no means a comprehensive overclocking tutorial, and I'm not going for maximum 3D Mark scores or trying to set any overclocking records here. If you're looking for that type of tutorial, there are plenty out there that will show you how to properly test and bend CPUs in PC Building Simulator when you're looking to set records. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say bending a CPU, then this tutorial may be for you. First, I want to point out that I am not in free build mode. This is, this is career. This is the career mode. Because I want this to be as real of a scenario as possible. I've already built this system and I'm ready to overclock the CPU. I like to start with the CPU first uh, and make sure that it's stable before moving on to the graphics card. So in this episode, we're gonna overclock just the CPU and I'm gonna show the whole process from start to finish, which honestly is quite simple. Then I'll make another video at some point, uh, probably soon, uh, showing how to overclock the graphics card in this system. So let's get started, guys. So, I mean, this thing's already powered on and really all you need to do, you need to make sure you've got your system has an operating system installed on it, and for overclocking the CPU, you just need this OCCT installed on the system uh, for testing the stability of the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this thing off by pushing P. I'm going to power it back on. I'm going to hold down the delete button to go into the BIOS. And if you haven't gone into your BIOS, if you haven't messed around with it, it's really simple. BIOSes in this game are different but they're not so different that it's gonna be super different from this one. I mean, they're all kind of the same. Some BIOSes won't even let you overclock, so you need to make sure that whatever BIOS you're using allows you to overclock. You can overclock basically all of the AMD Ryzen stuff. So almost, I believe almost all of the motherboards will allow overclocking for that. For Intel, which is what this is, you need a K, a KS, or an X chip. So it's whatever the number is. And then like this one is an i9-9940X. So it ends in an X. You can overclock it. Fairly simple. If you can't overclock it, it just won't let you do it in the BIOS. So, you know, fire it up, see what it lets you do. Again, this is just the super simple way to do it. Um, if you want to get very specific, uh, there's definitely other ways to go about doing this. But over the 300 and some odd hours that I've played this game, this always works for me. I always set the voltage to 1.7. I've never fried a CPU at 1.7 volts. I have at 1.75 or even 1.8, but not at 1.7. Even the uh, AMD stuff can easily go to 1.7 volts. So I go for 1.7 and then I just start adjusting the ratio. So these X chips generally don't overclock that great, and I'm probably only gonna be able to get a ratio of 4.5 when it was a 4.4, but we're gonna give it a shot. I also like to go in and turn on XMP. I'm not going to overclock the RAM any more than whatever the XMP for this RAM is set at. So let's go ahead, let's apply these changes. Let's restart the system. We're gonna let it boot up into the operating system. Let's start up OCCT. And we need to watch our values here as well as the CPU throttling. We don't need to worry about the GPU right now because we're not currently overclocking that. And if you have a low wattage power supply, then you will need to pay attention to the power draw just because that could be crashing your system. This system, however, has way more, a way larger power supply than it needs. I believe I put a thousand watt power supply in this thing. So power really shouldn't be an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and push on. We're gonna let this thing run. It takes about 30 seconds, no big deal. We're gonna watch our max temperature on the CPU. So we're at 88, all getting close to 89C. Uh, most, most of the CPUs in this game can go up to about 100C before they either start throttling or before they give you a blue screen. So we may be able to go up a little bit more. We may be able to get this thing up to 4.6 gigahertz or 4,600 
megahertz. So it ran, we didn't blue screen, we didn't throttle, and our CPU temp was okay. So what we can do is we can power this off, we can turn it back on, and we can hop back in to our BIOS. We're gonna leave it at 1.7 volts, but we're gonna take the ratio up to 446. We're gonna apply and restart. And we'll let this thing boot back up into the operating system. We'll start up OCCT again, and we're gonna turn it on, and we're gonna see what it does. Our CPU temp is already a lot higher than it was. Oh, there we go, there's our blue screen. So we will push P to go ahead and turn our system off, and P to turn it back on. We'll go back into the BIOS here. We'll go over to CPU overclock. We can leave the ratio where it is and see if possibly lowering the voltage will bring the temperature down enough to make it stable. Let's go ahead and apply that and let it restart. All right, let's open up OCCT, start it back up, and let's see what happens. Oh, blue screen again. So it's probably just not going to be stable. So let's go back into the BIOS. Let's turn the ratio back down to 45, and let's turn the voltage back up to 1.7. Leave the RAM alone. Let's run OCCT one more time just to make sure that everything's stable. I think we're going to be good, though. Because we set it back to what it previously was when we were stable the first time. Eighty-eight point seven four C is not too hot. All right, there we go. It's stable. So very simply, that is how I personally overclock my CPUs when I am selling these systems built of used parts on PC Bay. That's about all there is to it. So I'm going to end this episode here. If it helped you out, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you guys in the next episode.